Good evening. It's Facebook Love number 137. I um, I found a poet today that, that hit right on how I'm feeling, which is that the only healthy place to go emotionally is up higher uh, to work on being my best to encourage others to see things in the best light and um, also to sort of think in an elemental way I get I get very worried and over overcome by I guess it's fear by um, by concern that the way of life that I think that humans are should be working toward um, is becoming unattainable in the in the face of so much hatred and corruption and um, and injustice and then the you know the maltreatment of our our planet it, it it's so worrisome and and then I remember that the planet will make it and if somehow we don't make it someday whoever comes after after us will tell the stories of who we were the best of us and the worst of us and I really have to remember the, the small moments so I have two poems by this poet named Terry Tempest Williams, a friend reminded me of today. The first one is short, and the second one I'll explain before I read it. It's not that, that long either, but um, I don't have a title for this piece. Um, Once upon a time, when women were birds, there was the simple understanding that to sing at dawn and to sing at dusk was to heal the world through joy. The birds still remember what we have forgotten, that the world is meant to be celebrated. By Terry Tempest Williams. Here is the other, um, she wrote this right after the election in 2016, and um, I think her piece is much more beautiful than the one that I wrote, which was full of defiance and resistance. Um, you may, if you know my work, be able to compare and contrast. Uh, she's also full of hope and, and resistance, but maybe not as angry. <laughs> um, this this poem is dedicated to community held within the open space of democracy erosion it is morning I am morning and the river is before me I am a writer without words who is struggling to find them I am holding the balm of beauty, this river, this desert, so vulnerable, all of us. I am trying to shape my despair into some form of action, but for now, I am standing on the cold edge of grief. We are staring at a belligerent rejection of change by our fellow Americans who believe they have voted for change. The seismic shock of a new political landscape is settling. For now, I do not feel like unity is what is called for. Resistance is our courage. Love will become us. The land holds us still. Let us pause and listen and gather our strength with grace and move forward like water in all its manifestation. Flat water, white water, rapids and eddies.
and flood this country with an integrity of purpose and patience and persistence capable of cracking stone. I am a writer without words who continues to believe in the vitality of the struggle. Let us hold each other close and be kind. Let us gather together and break bread. Let us trust that what is required of us next will become clear in time. What has been hidden is now exposed. This river, this morning, this moment, may we be brave enough to feel it deeply and then act. Erosion by Terry Tempest Williams. I feel exactly that way. I have felt exactly that way. We have about 60 days before all the, all the votes will be cast. And we may have another 30 to 60 days before we know for sure. So be patient and be persistent. This is Facebook Love from one of the homes of the resistance here. I'll see you again.